But anyway, I wanted to address one question that is a personal one, Brian, for you, because I just remembered I had a discussion with uh, Glenn Hughes, who you, in fact, uh, told me about first a few years ago from EMF Protection UK. It was a great discussion with a few people, a little panel that we ran two weeks ago. And they said that what they're seeing in cities is a vast increase in symptoms of people that are electrosensitives when fiber optics is being rolled out to that neighborhood. What they hypothesize is that the dirty electricity levels are off the charts or are increasing when fiber optics is rolled out. But what they also told me is that in certain situations, it looks like it's a, maybe an artifact of certain ways of wiring fiber optics that are poorly done, whereas in other neighbor neighborhoods, it's not so bad. Have you, have you found in your surveys, I know you do a lot and you have your entire team, have you found this to be true or have you heard of people with electro hypersensitivity or, you know, microwave illness that are getting sicker when fiber optics is being rolled out? And I'm not talking about, you know, the, the, the router with fiber optics could be just not, could be wired, right? Doesn't have to be Wi-Fi, but just the fact that this fiber optics is rolled out in a new neighborhood. Have you found that to be problematic? Well, here's, here's something about my, the way my mind works is that I hear this and I immediately think of like 10 different things that that like variables that could could happen yeah. with with the rollout of fiber optics. And I've thought about this a lot because the technology itself shouldn't cause any dirty electricity or or uh or problems because they're using light to to do that and to send this signal. The caveat to this is that with fiber optics comes neighborhood routers that are that are in the area because they're wanting to do neighborhood internet potentially like like really high speed 5G fast internet in the neighborhood with fiber optics comes digging up uh digging up the ground and maybe pulling out or rerouting cables that that are there like coaxial cables that that maybe are reconnected in a in a poor way so it causes a ground loop and then there becomes magnetic fields that that come in the whole area. Okay. So and I've I've come across this in Florida and Colorado and some other some other areas in, with testing is that whole neighborhoods whenever they're they're digging things up and they're reconnecting them sometimes they reconnect the ground incorrectly and it can cause magnetic fields. So I think uh to say that it's fiber optics the technology causing it is is maybe like a, a misnomer or, or something that, that could be wrong. There is an article that Jeremiah Johnson wrote about fiber optics and um, like a case study that he had where he he figured out that it was an electrical signal um, because the fiber optics need to be converted to an electrical signal after the fiber comes into your house. And then that process, like his theory was that it's causing... Uh, some some dirty energy or some something to that somebody was reacting to yeah and i i can't say that that's true or not because i haven't seen it with my own eyes or seen the test or whatever um but i'm open to the possibility of that that being the case i just think that when there's a bunch of people talking about something that's new it's really easy to jump on the bandwagon of saying that oh this was installed and then this happened this, yeah. you know, ca yeah. cause and cause and effect, but we know that like correlation doesn't mean causation. Like the classic example is, oh, when someone's cholesterol is high, that, that, you know, you're blaming cholesterol for heart disease when really it's the, that the reason that the cholesterol is there is to help repair the arteries and, and, uh, and you're, you're shooting the messenger. And in fact, there's actually inflammation or or deterioration of the arteries. And because there's a high cholesterol, it's actually a sign that there's, there's a problem in the cardiovascular system that needs to be repaired. And so lowering cholesterol can actually make that worse for, for the person, because then you don't have the protective factors that the cholesterol is trying to, to implement. The body's intelligent. It's trying to do, to do, uh, to heal itself. And so cholesterol is a sign that something else is wrong. It's not the problem itself. Lowering cholesterol is not necessarily going to be a benefit 
to the person. You need to go to get to the root of the problem. So the same thing with fiber optics, we've got all these wires going everywhere and being installed. And, and every time that those are installed, there people get symptoms. Well, what else is being installed? More antennas? Are things being reconnected in a, in a poor way? So it's causing magnetic fields. Like what, what else is going on in those moments when they're installing this? Is there new 5G towers that are coming up because they have a faster internet connection yeah. with yeah. the fiber? Yeah. So there's, there's multiple things that could be causing symptoms for these people where the fiber is being installed. It might not be the fiber itself. It might be these cursory things that are going on at the same time, but we need to actually test and see before and after readings on, is it dirty electricity? Is it a magnetic field? Is it more high frequency radiation because of more towers being installed? Those yeah. are the three things that you have to consider. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Piano. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars Masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.